I'm here. <laughs> They've just taken you off the screen. That's not, that's not much they like <laughs> you, Jimmy. Fine. That's fine. You, you got you, you got your two seconds in the shot there, Jimmy. And uh, well, it looks like we're going to be moving Stephen forward Edberg now. in the middle. Wow. Pulling out the old German. In uh, Hullet, of course, we've seen a bunch of times Modric, Ronaldo, Suarez, uh, Marcelo back there. And of course, you may notice a lot of these guys, they always equalize themselves at 85 rating. Ah, they're, still, they're still insisting. But Peter Schmeichel, that is Peter, I'm guessing, in there. Not, they're not going to be using uh, his son in Leicester at the moment. I think it's going to be Peter in there. So. Don't think so, yeah. No, I think yeah. you might be right. Well, I mean, it's the, it's the old Man United back line there, Schmeichel and Fernando. Uh, Fernando? Ferdinand. Which, I don't know which man. Fernando is a bad city these days. <laughs> yeah, not Fernando. Ferdinand, I should say. That's the one. That's what you were looking for. Uh, and of course, Tass, we'll see here in a second exactly what he's going to be running with. And there is Tass's lineup. And George, again, best Vieira four player. legends in there. It's literally a legendary team. And uh, now he's getting added as friend. Just, that's, just that's to nice. uh, always good to have keep, a friend. Keep to, uh, he's got a friend. In, he's got a friend in need. But ladies and gentlemen, of course, this featured matchup is going to be brought to you by Progressive, making it easier to bundle your home and car insurance. And uh, it may well just be what you need as we get this game underway. It's going to be a tense affair. It is Dax up against Tass, and immediately they shuffle things around. Let's see what they're going to do, Joe. Let's keep our eyes on this one because they do it fast. Effenberg for Hullet switch around. Ronaldo Suarez switch sides. It's all about obviously. Jump by notification. That one man is now famous forever. And oh, we've friend. switched games to Tim Latka versus hashtag Harry, apparently. Uh, it's not something that we see uh, that very is, often. That is surprising, all. but uh, we're going to get an update from Lucas Senior. He's playing Brumer at the moment. This is the hashtag game just kicking off, but already it looks like Lucas Senior is going to be up against it. Is that Lucas Senior on the attack? I'm shooting it in. It's slotted one home. No, Brumer. It is Lucas Senior, yep. yeah. Lucas Senior goes 1 0 up against Brumer. And that. That could be tragic. That could be Brumer out of the group already. He's already lost his first game. Of course, both players losing their first matchup. But back into this game. This is Tim Latka versus uh, Hashtag Harry. So we've had a switch around. Um, looks like the Dax game is also happening. I'm looking across. I can see Dax and uh, Tass uh, he heading off against each other. But we'll keep the updates coming throughout the games. Of course, we have them all available to us. And we'll just keep rotating through the matches as they happen. But it is going to be... Uh, Tim Latka playing as Schalke, of course, the team that he is representing. Let's see what he can do with him. Pressure certainly on him for the victory. And, well, he'll lose out the ball there easily. Does get himself a throw in, though, so should be able to uh, keep a hold of possession there with Bale and Marcelo up on the top side. We'll spread one quickly through here for Pele, I think first time that we've seen Pele in a featured matchup so far, will fall kindly to Ronaldo, who's been taken down, and uh, well, the ref says no, there's nothing there, and Tim Ladka may still get a second chance, again tries to switch it inside, but Beckenbauer standing strong. Ronaldo never had to Holden come up somewhere against like Beckenbauer, did they, in the defence back in the day, the stalwart defender that he is. I'd like to have a Vinnie Jones legendary card. <laughs> <to get that. laughs> Vinnie Jones legend. <laughs> Let's get an update uh, from Paris Saint-Germain. Is this going to be Dax? I didn't see. I guess it has to be because Aga's not playing. So this is Dax already versus Taz. The PSG battle that's going on at the moment. You can see it is going to be Dax winning the ball there. Hullet against Marcelo. Winning the throw in. Hullet. Who's he going to toss it to? Didn't really have too many options available to him. Gets it to Suarez now. Georgie Best. Plays it off Vieira's legs, not too sure whether there's a tactic or a mislaid pass. And uh, Laurent Blanc, I think, uh, just spotted in defence there for uh, Taz. And we're going to head again to the Bruma Lucasino game. Apparently, there's been another goal there. We need to cast our eye over, so we'll see that in just a second. It looks like it could be an equaliser. Yeah, it does look like it. Messi to Ronaldo, back into Messi. Ronaldo slots it home, 1 1. Bruma back in that one. As I mentioned, a lot on the line between that game. Both players lost their first match, so a lot of points required as they both find themselves on the bottom of the table. But back in our featured matchup at the moment, Dax versus Taz. It is going to be a very long delay throw in here. This is the longest throw I've seen in a while. Hullet gets it through to Best. Best with a delayed pass to Ronaldo, almost a lapse of daisical. And uh, I believe that's Carl Walker being used on the right wing from Tottenham Hotspur. Cutting inside. Pretty sure Des Walker's not in the legends on the uh, right back position. Should be, though. <laughs> Sheffield Wednesday legend, that's for sure. 
Uh, it's Marcelo here on the bottom side. Again, pull it versus all it. Nice little chip over the top, though. That's great. To ball. find De Marcos. What can Daxa do here? With best, not look for Effenberg. They need someone up on that top side to move for him. They're not really moving for him here. Does get it through to Suarez. Ronaldo will slot it in. Will he get it? Oh, he does get it over to Best, but Vieira comes in to hear that. We'll just tip it a little bit wide as well. So corner here for Dax. Modric trying to dribble it in. They can't really go for the crosses so much in 17. It's all about dribbling, trying to get past your opponent and then get that sweaty goal as you lay it across the six-yard box. Best back though into Marcelo, Marcelo to Modric, can't get past his defenders, this is good work and now Hullet, potential counter-attack here for Tass, a lot of pressure on him so far, he's been camped inside his own half for a while here, Dax putting pressure on but here we go, he's going to get himself a chance now, he's going to get a slight little pass to uh, Blanc, back down the wing, Walker backs a pace on him if he wants to try and use it down that wing, Pogba plays it across to Vieira, now Suarez, good little through ball required from Best but it's going to get cut out by DeMarcos and it's straight back up the other end. Best to Modric, can't get the through ball. Laurent Blanc cuts it out, but Ronaldo's won it back. That was a disastrous defensive error. Tries to go for the pass, didn't go for the double tap. De Gea makes an easy save. Yeah, off to his left there. Ball it coming in though on this bottom side though, and throwing will land Whoa. to Tass. Still all even, 35 minutes gone in this game. It's best now. Moving forward, we'll try the ball over the top and well, it will get on the end of this one as well. Just blocking a little bit there on DeMarcos, but he will dispossess him fairly even. Oh, that was a bit dangerous there, but Hullet just chipping it over the top, out of danger. And now Suarez might just turn this one around. Inside to Best, who will feed it back to him. Suarez now going to charge forward, but where's he going to go from here? We'll cut back. They play it across the edge of that 18-yard box, and it's <laughs> Effenberger goes for the shot. Block, that's a corner. Not, not, not your standard Stefan Effenberg shot there. Corner comes in, but going to get a quick couple of words from the man that's representing Hashtag United, the man behind it all, it is Spencer. Thanks, guys. Yeah, fascinating game so far. A uh, bit of a stalemate. I'd say that Dax is probably dominating possession. He's obviously had a few chances there. Tass not really getting into it yet. Um, one of the most fascinating things so far, I think, is, is the right-back, because... We're seeing a lot of repeat players across games, including our first feature games, the likes of Pogba, the likes of Hullet, Ronaldo, of course. A lot of different right-backs being used, though. Florenzi was the, the right-back used by both our players in the first game, but here we've got DeMarcos and we've got Carl Walker. So it's obviously a position which is up for grabs, a position which people haven't completely made their mind up, a position where we might even see change within people's own teams today if they maybe suffer defeat in the first game. They might mix it up, but right now we're approaching half-time here. Still nil-nil. Both of these guys won their first game, of course. Dax beating Poacher 5-1 very impressively, and uh, Tass winning 2-1 against Painter. So they both conceded in their first games, but they both scored goals, and it's going to be interesting to see if this one finishes nil-nil. But uh, we've got a chance here for Tass. Is he going to take it on the half half Oh, he's just kept it in. Oh, we're approaching half-time here. Still nil-nil. Corner for Tass. Back to you guys. Yeah, Spencer, so far, so good for Hashtag, but not so far so good for Boras Legends, who finds himself 2-0 down to Tass right Ooh. now, which is really impressive, and not so much for uh, Boras. Ivan Lapagna coming into this one, the highest earner in FIFA. Well, could that certainly be changing at the end of the year? I certainly expect it will be, but uh, that is not going well for him so far against Taz as they approach half-time. Yeah, Taz, you just have any uh, couple of little chances towards the end of that first half. Didn't go in, though, so we go into the half-time point at nil-nil. We see their ratings for everyone so far. Taz, Ramos, the man that's... Uh, been holding them steady at the back. Tells you a lot though for Tass there. His defense is the one's getting the higher rating, which means he's been on the back foot for a large portion of it. Ronaldo not really seeing a great deal of the ball up front. So it's very much been Dax putting the pressure down onto Tass as we go into the second half here. Of course, it is Dax playing as Paris Saint-Germain. And of course, Harry playing in the Arsenal colors. Not really Arsenal colours though, he's Tass. in the white. Not Harry. Ta uh, Tass. Tass is playing in the, as, as the Arsenal man, representing. Certainly with the Arsenal badge, not so much the Arsenal kit. Yeah. Not sure they've been uh, playing in white for a while. No, I don't think so. Tottenham would have something to say about that. And the corner, yeah, or oh, not corner, it's a free kick, but almost on the corner flag for Tass. Let's see if he can break a deadlock. Taking his time from this one. 
Where's it going to go? It's going to go right to the back post. Schmeichel comes out there and will be a shot from the edge of the box. It was Kyle Walker, header from Vieira, but Schmeichel again will get down onto it and it's safe. And now Dax has a chance for a bit of a counter-attack. A lot of space on that top side. Yeah, DeMarcos going to get a bit of a run on as well. Started to uh, check, but we're going to check in on that Boros Legend game as well. As we say, trailing already, and this is going to be the second goal. So Taz getting a great start, and Ronaldo slots it home. Massive shock, really, for me, that one. Boris Legend coming into this one. I would say a big favorite in the uh, PlayStation division, because I know, certainly, Joe following by his Twitter, he has had problems recently, struggled in a recent tournament in Sweden. So I uh, was hoping he'd corrected his problems, but as it is, he's in real trouble in that game. Still 2-0 down, 54 minutes gone. But here we are in our featured matchup. It is still 0-0. And with Kyle Walker, as soon as I curse his name, he loses the ball. Modric there, who managed to keep hold of it despite it being a bit of a messy passing around. Again, Hullet just getting in between them. Now it is Tass who's going to be able to break through. Gets it up to Best. Hullet's going to make the run here down on this bottom side. He's got Ronaldo up on the top side for him. But, well, doesn't find anyone there. It goes out for the throw in. That is Dax back in possession. So very, very even start to this one. Obviously, we're uh, just about to hit the 60-minute mark, so well over halfway gone. And I think, as Spencer rightly said there, both of these guys winning their first game, which kind of leads you to believe that this might be the game that decides the group winner. And will that goal come in now? Ronaldo's got no options, tries to go it alone, but Ramos will, well, first of all, get in there, and second of all, lose it corner for Tass. Yeah, really tense stuff in these games, no doubt. George Best managed to get himself through. Ronaldo dribbles it back, gets it back into Ronaldo. Really good chance. Oh, he's going to be kicking himself. He manages to make it count. Taz with a simple tap in for Suarez. That is massive when the game has been on tender hooks the whole time. It's been Dax has been attacking, but it's Tass that gets the goal. That might just be enough here for Tass, just judging how close this one's been. Michael does get down to it, but you saw Suarez just nipping in there at the back post, was able to squeeze it between the posts and Michael. And now Tass is the man that has to hold on to this one. Let's see what Dax can do. Marcelo down on the bottom side, that's a foul, surely. Will be a foul given. And a free kick here for Dax, who will take it short into the feet of Stefan Effenberg, who will try and play a through ball to Modric, into Best. Where's Best going to go? He's going to go for a shot! Oh, it was close. The keeper was down on it already. I think he had that one covered. Yeah, came off his own player as well. Let's get an update from the Bastos game to see what is going on over there. Coco up against uh, the man from Schalke once again. And this is looking like Sihan's going to get himself a second. Sihan! That's going to put him top of the group. Remember, won his first game 3-0, to zero, looking solid in this group so far. Sian represented Schalke 04. Yeah. Or well, technically, it's Schalke 04, I guess. Brilliant. That's it idea. is, actually. It's really yeah. right. So we figured out today you did learn to count at least to four, I, I can, with zero included. So I guess I that's five. We'll let you have that one. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> <laughs> Things are going well for me. <laughs> Not so well for Dax, though, who finds himself literally on the at the back end of a, a possible upset here as Ronaldo through for best. Oh, he's cut the angle too much. Lazy back! Oh, it's 2 0! Tass has surely got this one in the bag now in the 70th minute. It looked like he'd made the error. And Ronaldo makes it 2 0 for Tass. And now we're going to have to see some changes for Dax. I think it came off DeMarcos there as well, which is interesting considering uh, you know what Spencer was saying. A little bit earlier on, like a change of pace there, I was not quite paying full attention. Marcos not having a bad game at all if you uh, if you look through the ratings there, but time now is certainly pressing for Dax. He's got 20 minutes in game to pull two back from this one. Tass now up 2 0. And as we said before, both winning their first game, this is their second will almost certainly be uh, the decider of this group. The question then is the loser also then has to play, obviously, a third game as does everyone else in the group stage, which could mean 
you have a little bit of worry. Let's have a look at this one. It did indeed yeah. come off to Marcos. I don't think you could do much to stop it, though. No, just to... It's not sure if it was uh, actually headed wide before that touch. No, not, quite see not, from even, that angle. not, even, not even close. It's just, it basically just rolled over his boot, I think, more than anything now. So, big comeback required from Dax here. The man from Paris Saint-Germain up against it. Hashtag doing very well here, United. Certainly in the Xbox group, Boras still finds himself on the tail end of a beating at the moment. Yeah, it's 3-0 uh, now in his game, and that's not good. So Boras Legends looks like he's going to be losing his second game here. Walker down, down from Tass. That's a great ball, through ball. Was he onside? He was. Suarez, he's got a lot of work to do, though, to cut in. The rest of his team arrives, so support is in the box. Tries to beat his man, and he does. A little pullback on the shoulder, maybe trying to catch him off guard there. He was certainly clean away until Marcelo got that little knock in there. Vieira back to Suarez, keeping it, just running the clock down now effectively, because that's all he needs to do. Two goals, it's going to take him a little while to do it. This is beautiful possession football from Taz. Yeah, needs to be careful not to lose it, though, in a dangerous position, like the centre of midfield would certainly be. Oh, <laughs> running rings around him at this point. Kyle Walker and Suarez linking up nicely, taking the mickey out of the uh, left back and left winger at this point. And that finally will be dispossessed and does lose out on that one. So throwing here for Dax, 80 minutes on the clock. Actually, it was a free kick in the end. Um, 80 minutes on the clock. This is still a very tough ask. Yeah, I can tell you in this group, actually, the other result has come through. So Poacher has beaten Painter uh, just one to zero. So obviously uh, with Dax already beaten Painter. Uh, that puts Painter pretty much done and dusted in this group, sadly. It is brutal, no doubt about it, when you come here. But the best of the best are competing in the regionals. This is Europe, of course. We're going to be in Sydney next week and then Miami after that. It's going to be uh, very busy for uh, the players and ourselves. <laughs> Us as the crew are <laughs> going to be uh, on a lot of planes, but it's going to be absolutely epic to find all the best players in the world for that big finals in Berlin in May. But as it stands, Tass is just keeping possession and really passing it so well. Frustrating Dax here, I think. Yeah, this is certainly not a way you want the, the game to end for you. You know, you've got to keep the mindset moving into your next game, which is obviously going to be all deciding as to if you can move things forward. Let's see, though. We've got 88.50 on the clock now, and job is basically done here by Tass. We'll keep the ball down on this bottom side. It's got to go completely direct here from Dax if he wants to get anything out of it. Three minutes added on, not a lot of time to get anything going. And even using that space on the top side means wasting a little bit more time as the ball in the air there. Suarez on top of it, and this is it. This is the last move that he's going to get here. Some updates on scores starting to come in here. Boras does lose. He lost 3-1. Of course, that is Tass picking up the victory here, two to zero over Dax. So, hashtag versus PSG.